Welcome back, League Niners. We're back for another one. We're gonna do something a little different this time. We're actually gonna see which one of these bats, a couple which were made specifically to do so, uh, is gonna be better for cut swinging. So to piggyback a little bit on the video we did with Brandon Trailer a few weeks back. So we're gonna do that. Uh, but first, gotta get a, a thank you quick to San Francisco Baseball Academy, Stacy at ASP, and uh, tell us about what we're doing here. Yeah, so as you mentioned, uh, cut swing is something that a lot of softball players are really interested in. One, the mechanics of how to cut the ball, and two, probably a subject that doesn't get delved into too much, but like, are there differences between bats and how well they can or cannot cut the ball? So what we got out here today is we have the NDM3 by Pure. Shout out Josh Stubbs for sending us this NDM3 to check out. Uh, this has a kind of patented grip tape-like barrel, which like Theoretically, sandpaper. yeah, should be good at cutting the ball. It's got an extra grip, so when you make that cut on the ball, it should give it a little extra backspin. Uh, same thing goes with the Suncoast Ruckus over here. It's also got a patented kind of what's called stick and spin barrel. Yeah, it's a sticky though. It's a little so different yeah, you than can kind of—I don't know if you can hear it—but Cam is literally rubbing the barrel, and you can hear it kind of gripping his his hand. Yeah. Uh, and then we've also got the uh, Louisville Genesis, the hashtag pass them out version, which is just a complete smooth barrel. Yep. So we've got three completely different barrels to check out to see if there is any noticeable difference in its ability to cut the ball. Regarding weight and end load, all of these are a half ounce end load, so they should swing generally the same. Mm -hmm. uh, the flexi handle on the Suncoast is gonna be probably the biggest difference between the three. The yep. other ones have a pretty stiff handle. So we'll be able to also tell Flexi versus stiff, do you notice a difference in cutting the ball? And then between the two stiffer handles, does the barrel texture feel any different? Uh, so really interested to see what happens. I don't really have any idea whether or not either. the grip will make a difference, but uh, I guess that's why we're doing this. One last thing is a reminder that we mentioned in our previous video, this NDM3 that we got from Josh Stubbs will be given away to one of our subscribers once we hit 2,500 subscribers. So make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Keep an eye out and we'll let you know once we hit 2,500 how we're gonna go about giving this sucker away. But uh, really want to appreciate the followers that we have and the new followers that we're gonna get from these videos. And uh, we're gonna reward you with a free bat here. No questions asked. All right, let's do it. Let's have some fun. <clears throat> All right, for our cut swing video today, we're gonna have three different types of balls. Uh, we've got our Evil BP Rockets, pretty standard. We've got our Tattoo NX3 spinners, which we used in a previous video, and we've got some ASA spinners as well. So these are the three we're gonna use. We're gonna see how it works with all three. Thank you. Ooh, right at a bit. Oh, got it. Oh, got that one better than I thought. Oh, wait. Okay. That's a right Yeah. This thing definitely feels better than the first time. First few times we swung it. Right? Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Never goes more than about 20 feet off the ground. Yeah, all right, all right. That stride that's helping a lot. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a good fit. Hold up that. Yeah, yeah, it really does. Cut. A tomahawk chop. Yep. That one felt good. Short. Ah! Short. Just died. Just died a little. Too high. Oh! The weight room. Nope. 
I'll take that. I'll take that as a good one. Yeah, I would say that's a good one. Yeah, that's good. There we go. this for a cut swing, it goes. I might get that gap. Could be. Knuckle cut a little. Yeah. The cut swings in this bat feel way better than like the standard swings. Sure did. Dude, for the cut, cut swings, this feels great. For my standard swing, it feels all right. Yeah. All right, so that is our swings for the best cut swing bat that, uh, that we're trying to find out here. So, what do you think? You know, I was surprised. Okay. Um, so, just a recap, we've got kind of like skateboard grip tape barrel, pure <laughs> yeah. NDM3. That's the best description, We've got kind of what they call the stick and spin sun coast. It's kind of just a little bit sticky supposed to kind of give you that little extra grab of the ball at connection and then we've got the just completely smooth barrel Genesis uh, I'll start with just saying I was pleasantly surprised with the Genesis's performance with the cut like I was really surprised when you got it it, it flew I think I probably hit the most to the fence or out with this yeah I honestly don't remember but I was surprised with the cut swing how good this felt um, as did I mean this barrel seems like it's designed specifically to cut the ball and when you got it in the right spot on this barrel it cut really really well um, that one again I think it comes back to barrel feel we talked about it previously yeah it, it hits the ball really well um, you know I just don't get the same pleasure I guess you could say out <laughs> yeah. of when you make a good swing like it just doesn't have the same feel as either of these barrels so I think that's the only reason why I wouldn't go with that one is I just don't like I don't feel like it gives me the same satisfaction when I catch it, but the forgiveness of that when you're cutting yes. it and you just miss it, I would say is the best of the three. Yeah. Um, but performance-wise, when you hit it properly, I would probably put 
if these two closer together and that one is the third. Okay. Um, but again, you literally haven't put that many swings on it, so I'd be interested to see what's happened. We've used this for a couple of yeah. challenges now, so it's probably getting to the closeness to 240, <laughs> and I think this one comes out of the wrapper close to 240, so it might have a competitive advantage already. Um, that's what I would say. I'd probably go pure just ahead of the Genesis on the cut specifically, and that would be my third. Okay. okay. How about you? So same thing for me, the Jenny surprised me. Yes. Like before we took any swings, I was like, uh, Jenny's probably gonna be third place <laughs> yeah. for me. Um, and I would say, honestly, it kind of was until sort of the last round I took with it. And I started to really uh, work that harder step forward, a little bit more aggressive step. And once I started doing that, very surprising, mm -hmm. very surprising. Uh, that being said, that one, again, I cut really well for power. Okay. Um, this one, I got some pretty decent cuts on it, but again, just like in our previous video, I just can't, I haven't you like- found it yet. Yeah, like it's, when I get it, I get it, but I can't consistently get the spot on that one yet. So maybe jury's a little out on that one. And then this one, having swung uh, the, the bat that Brandon Trailer had out with this uh, a couple weeks ago, you know, it's the same thing as this, except it's a 12 inch instead of 13 inch barrel. I just prefer a bigger barrel. I kind of knew what to expect out of this. And again, like you said, flexi handle, softer barrel, definitely more forgiving. Um, there's a lot, I feel like there's a lot more real estate on this one where you can hit the ball and still do good things with it. Mm -hmm. Plus this one, I felt like I had the most control with. Like okay. I said, I definitely hit harder balls with the Jenny, uh, but this one I felt like if I got an oppo pitch, I knew where to put it. If I got one pulled down the left field line, I could do it up the middle. So I, I kind of could really control what I wanted to do with this. And to be honest, that's the reason that I got this back was to kind of work on base hitting, have control, that sort of thing. So if I'm going for control and going for, I guess, uh, utility, this is probably the one I'm going to put in my bag, but definitely second place close comes with the Jenny. Okay. You know, again, it got a lot more power with it, even with a cut swing and jury's out for me. I'm not even going to put a grade on the NDM yet just <laughs> okay. because I, I feel like it's got it, and it's just, it's me that's not that's not figuring it out okay, yet. I don't okay. feel like it's the bat. I feel like I just can't find the spot quite yet, so maybe with a little bit more uh, swings, I might find it. You know what I would th I would say, just based on having seen you swing for the last six months, like every <laughs> freaking week? Because um, all these are 13-inch barrels, yeah. and I would say for the NDM, the sweet spot of the barrel might be a little smaller, and it's probably closer to the end, Yeah. and you tend to catch the ball yeah, more on the here. inner, third to inner half yeah. of the barrel. So I'm wondering if maybe that's it. Very well could where be. you catch the ball as opposed to like where the sweet spot on the barrel of this bat is. Yeah. It may be that that is just a bigger barrel, but that yeah. could also explain why the sweet spot uh, doesn't have as much jump because yeah. the barrel is a lot bigger and more forgiving. Mm -hmm. Whereas it's the this one. For my poor hitting. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> hey, why do you think we all swing the, the, the wolf? That's right. <laughs> um, this one smaller, but when you hit it, it definitely, you could tell you got it. it, had a really good clack to it. Yeah. Um, and it just felt good. Yeah. Um, so that'd be the only observation I would have. Uh, if anybody's in the market for an NDM3, uh, super cool name first, name doesn't matter. Yeah. That's what MDM stands for, NDM. Uh, super cool idea behind it. It's like your name doesn't matter, just go out there, just perform. It's the name yeah, on the front, it. not the name on the back. <laughs> um, individual people win awards teams win trophies and championships that's right just saying right. uh josh stubbs in canada our guy thanks again if you need a pure bat let us know we'll hook you up with him if you're in the market for a coast brandon trailer uh congrats bay area legends yes. took second yes. in the cincy major Huge. uh that was an awesome performance by bay area legends yep. uh i think they beat the monster albacoco team twice yeah. that weekend uh, so they definitely had a great performance, and sure. Trailer Trailer had a few bombs. He sure did. Made all tourney. Yeah. Uh, swinging coast. So congrats to Brandon Trailer hey. on that. Um, clearly, some of the big names are swinging them. So yep. it might be might be something to that. But <laughs> I think Everett Williams is doing just fine with the pass him out as he well. Sure so uh, <laughs> if you're in the market for one of these, we can probably get Everett's code for you as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, all of them have pros and cons to them. Uh, I'll say this, I'm definitely more intrigued about Pure than I was before I swung this bat. <laughs> so sure. Josh, appreciate it. I know that your team up there in Canada swings it exclusively and y'all yeah. are winning a lot of games. So, you know, we might be onto something here. Awesome. All right. That's all I got. Thanks a lot. Like, subscribe, leave us a comment. We'll get back to you. We love hearing from all of you guys. So we will see you next time.